It's your boy, Master Pig, and today we're back and we are watching the finale of The Promised Neverland Season 1, hopefully. So, last time, Ray was about to kill himself, they faked the death, but then he wasn't dead. Uh, Norman had been a fucking, uh, he had planned all of this from the beginning, which he's a mastermind, I love him. Aside from that, they escaped, the, the, ch the children knew all alone, all alone, alone, yeah. Uh, except the, uh, at the end, Phil was there next to Mama in the burning house. So, why is Phil there? Is he gonna fuck up Mom? Is he gonna be a traitor? Is he just innocent? I don't actually know. I want him to fuck up Mom. I don't know how. Phil is his own person. He can do how he can do it however he wants. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see what happens this episode. Remember, I'm watching the Crunchyroll version. Crunchyroll link in the description. You have subtitles, thankfully, to to right here you have down here you have subtitles you have the timer right there where you can sync it up like right there and you can also check out my twitter to follow me just go to talk to me man and let's see what i've been watching on the description below and after this show is done i'm gonna be reacting to um uh, more uh, second now at the uh, one punch man season two uh so if you're interested in that subscribe to my channel and check out all the other shows i may be doing at the moment i'm doing attack on titan hunter hunter um, Ruby Volume 6, uh, Kaguya Sama Love is War, which is already also ending like in two days. Uh, and probably I'll, I'm gonna be starting JoJo after Mob Psycho, so if you're if interested in that, check it out. So, without further ado, let's watch. Three, two, one. The Promised Neverland, oh boy. Mom is burning, mom is burning. Oh, fail. <laughs> It's just Phil left? What happened to the other kids, like the babies and Gilda? I don't see Gilda. Oh, the four-year-olds. Okay, okay. So the four-year-olds, only five and another lore. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's... Leaving the kids soon. <sighs> but they have to grow a little bit. You can come back and get them out. Somehow. Did they all cut their ears? They didn't. What the fuck? Maybe they kind of forgot that. I don't know. But what are you gonna do? Like I said, come back. Hmm. Gilda is the next, the last one, right? Chrome's pen. Why is that important? It's just the fact that it's Chrome's. Oh shit, they told. Oh, what? Oh shit, Phil! Ah. 
<sighs> so fail now. No oh, fail, fuck up, mom, please. Oh. Dude, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Live in the situation to fail, dude. Uh, I come back in like two years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dude, we're doing this. We're doing this. Oh, Phil, I fucking love you. I knew it. Fucking Phil is my friend. Dr. Phil. Wait, turn, dude. Good fucking Phil, just. Hmm. Okay, so is he actually betraying them or is he not? Or did they cut out their ears? Oh. Aww. Dude, fail, fail. Oh shit, no. Shit, the alarm. Go, 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 keep running. Fuck. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. Not all people are gonna die. Oh no. Shut the f get the fucking grin out of your face. Oh fuck, how are we gonna do this, dude? Can you throw a rope and like grab it to a tree? Not anyone would think. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, dude. We can actually cross, dude. Oh. Did you train? I don't think Ray trained then. Oh. But what? I mean, the rock, I get it. Like, you have to throw it and throw it and throw it. You need to throw it around the tree, right? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. They did it. Oh my god. Oh shit. Is that strong enough to hold all of us or at least shoot we're doing it. Hank Oh Don my fucking god! Oh, he just trusted Norman and everyone. Oh, they did it. No, Don was the first one, dude. He's the, he's the heaviest one, too. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck, hopefully no one dies. Come on. I will have coat hangers, dude. Easy, dude. Yes. <laughs> oh, they all practice! Oh, I love this fucking show! Yeah, when you weren't just depressed. Oh, no, man. Ah, oh, no, man. No one's just fucking haunting everyone now in their nightmares and dreams. Come on. What does Mog mean? <laughs> Basically. Oh my god. Dude, I love the the talks with the talks with dead Norman. The best. Ghost Ray, Norman, tell him. Oh, uh, get fucked, man. Five more. You practice, you practice. Just don't let go of the coat hanger. Oh god. No, it's so good. It's so good, girl. It's so good. Oh no, you're scaring them all. No! Oh, is that was that work? Okay. Alright, good job. Hope that works. They can. Fucking boys, come on. <laughs> Masculinity and stuff. I don't know, man. Oh, dude. Come on, mom. Don't you fucking do anything to them. Oh, I just, I'm afraid it will break, but if it doesn't, it won't. Mama, huh? Oh my god, she copied and did it! Come on, come on, come on, there's three fucking ropes left, just do it! There's three ropes left! Just get all of it at the same time, just go! I'm almost covered! Oh, no, Emma! <laughs> Oh fuck, get fucked mom. You're not gonna get there. You're not gonna get there, hopefully. Come on. Yep. Oh fuck, he's right there. Oh fuck. Get fucked mom. You're, you're, uh, even if, fuck off. Fuck you and your, your fucking plant. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Uh, nothing? Oh, little bunny. It's fucking being destroyed, dude. Get fucked. Fuck you. Like you fucking care about us, fuck off. They got again. Fuck you, mom. 
Well, cut the cut the things, please. Cut the things, please. Thank God. <laughs> oh, you're fucking done, mom. Fuck you. And Phil's gonna fuck you up in the future. Yes. I'm so happy. <clears throat> right, you go. Come on. Run, run, done, kill that. Everyone, except the four rolls and stuff. You tried to do this in the past, didn't you, mom? But you fucking fucked up. You failed. Why did you fail? Hmm. Who's playing that, whatever that is, guitar, sitar, I don't know. I don't know guitars and instruments. <laughs> okay, let's have a little kid, I get that. Just like Emma. <laughs> Come on, give me that song, Leslie. Is that a boy's or a girl's name? Is it both? I'm not sure. How does this work in the manga? How do they show this? Where it, was it just like empty panels and you had to imagine the song, or did they actually like put a music sheet on them? And I don't doubt. I'm sorry for asking these questions, but I do like the song though. <sighs> what? Oh, he had to go. No, Leslie. Oh, the mom did. Fuck off. Did she, did she know about the whole? It's this song. God damn it! I would have. I should have known. I forgot that it was this song. Of course, we've heard it before. <clears throat> I'm just an idiot. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't say anything. I was like, wait, maybe I'm wrong. But it's this song, dude. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that's grandma. I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm an idiot. Oh, is it grandma? I thought it was grandma, but I guess it wasn't. Because that's grandma. That's grandma, grandma. I don't know. Oh, shit. <sighs> she was pregnant. What happened to her child? I wonder. Pregnant, huh? Ray. No, no. No. 
Birthing! Oh my god! The fucking... Ah! Shoot! Oh my god! No my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude! <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> now she's fucking cheering him on. I hate you. I still hate you. You're not gonna make me love you for this. No, 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 you're, you were evil. You killed so many kids. <coughs> Fuck, I like her. Shit. <laughs> I like her as a character. I don't know if I like her as a person. You got me there. Mama. Mmm. Fuck, does she know? Does she know Phil knows? Fuck. Oh, just keep running. Oh, just keep running. Give me an anime ending where they're just running. Or anime opening. Hopefully we did. Hopefully there's no more stuff. I mean, this is the last episode, so yeah. For now, we'll have some, some just happiness. Hopefully it's just the outside. Hopefully it's the outside. Hopefully. <clears throat> yeah. They did it, dude. Ah, fuck. No, man. I loved you. <sighs> Rest in peace, my boy. And the sunlight. Did we find the outside world? I mean, we cannot did. First morning, huh? Oh man, oh man! Ah, but there was no opening, I just realized. Don't let to do not say do no. Na 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 Soon fire. Soon fire. <laughs> Oh man, I just wanted to listen to the opening, I'm sorry. I, I should have been talking this whole time, but I just love this opening ending so much. You know what I mean? Oh man. Fuck. Na 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 Nothing else at the end? Is that it? That's it. Okay then. Should probably post the recording. I mean, by the recording, I mean the uh, timer. I'm sorry about that. Dude, I like this last episode. It was cool. We learned some good shit. Uh, Phil knows. Phil uh, kind of uh, suspected it, I guess, this whole time. I love that. Um, I love how Gilda brought up the other plants, which I hadn't brought up because I, I wasn't thinking of them, but Gilda was. Gilda's a better person than I am. Um... 
but they want to return. They want to return in at least two years. Uh, so, yeah, they want to return to save all the other children. The thing is, at the end, you know, Phil kind of knew and was going to cooperate with them a little bit. But then mom just came in and was like, they escaped safely. It, it, explicitly to fucking Phil. And I'm afraid that she might know that he knows. So that's going to fuck us over. Also, raise mom's son! Dude! Mike, I, I wasn't even expecting that reveal. Like, I wasn't even thinking about, like, who their mothers and parents were. <clears throat> if we're thinking in... If we're thinking it like that, the fact that the fact that Norman saw something so light uh, when before he died, you can see the fucking. I'm just gonna put this full screen for now, just so you don't see fucking Crunchyroll. Even though Crunchyroll, thank you for you know supporting this show so I can watch. Um, the thing is like, how do you call this? Um, could Norman be the kid of another fucking mother that that was there, or maybe when you die? You also get to meet your own mother, maybe, and that's why, or our parents. I mean, I don't know. How did she get pregnant? How did you know, mom Isabella get pregnant? Was it was it just because they do that and they're just like, how do you call that? Uh, do they have that? They probably do. How do you call that surgery? No, it's, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not called surgery, but where you you know, where you you can become pregnant without having to like you know, uh, find another man that just takes some semen from a fucking bottle or like little thing and then uh, you're pregnant. How does how is that named? Because I don't remember. Um, but they might have done that. Hopefully, it's not the bad thing that could happen when uh, before you get pregnant. Because that bad. I, I, or hopefully, it was something good that actually you know someone she loved. Either way, I mean I don't know if I want that because Isabella is kind of fucked up. But uh, like I was saying, could it be that maybe Norman before he died got to meet their parents? I doubt it. I completely doubt it. I'm just making some theories, because. Maybe maybe Ray, if if he was gonna get shipped out, would have met uh, Isabella. The fact that she knew, though, he already knew. Dude, that's so fucking weird, dude. Fucking oh my god. The song from Leslie went to Isabella. Isabella sang it sang it when she was pregnant to her baby, because babies can hear. And Norman had Norman Ray had the whole thing about being you know able to remember stuff from even the womb or after when he was like born. So that was that. Did, did they separate the the babies as soon as they're born? Like, or do they? Do you get to get them like a month and then you have to like let them go? I wonder. That's just things that we may not get an answer to. It's just you know fun to, fun to think of. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I I'm an idiot. I I typed pregnant and then I was and then I typed a, an arrow. What happened? And then I tapped another arrow from pregnant. Norman is like, no, it's Ray, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> so uh, they thought we were gonna cross the bridge, but no, 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 sir. Ah, uh, they're gonna fucking throw some rocks. They were practicing all this time. I fucking love this shit, dude. Oh. Okay, theories for next season. This was a good, okay. Yeah. Opinions on first season. This one, and then. Oh, uh, uh, theories for next season. Gotcha. So, um, this season was good. I'm not gonna say it's the best season ever because I like all the animes better. This is just, this is just like, okay, I'm gonna compare this to a Attack on Titan for no fucking reason because I'm an idiot. Maybe because of the cliffhangers. I think I'm gonna compare Attack on, this to the Attack on Titan for the cliffhangers. They just do this when they just put a cliffhanger and I don't know if I like it, but I love it because it makes a reaction. But still, that's not my, my job. Is to, I'll, I'll, ah, okay. Um, aside from that, I, I liked it. I like this season. I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm not that much of a, like, you know, I, I like crit critic. I'm not a critic. I can put out my feelings exactly how I feel it. Uh, I love this season. I, I, from what I heard, they took out a lot of inner monologue. And I don't know if I like that. I feel like... Inner monologue is something that can can be um, showed or like you know how do you call this can be uh, you know showed I guess shown uh, shown well in a show 
In, in more of it's animated. Have you seen uh, like when, when you see Death Note? Death Note has a lot of inner monologue, and I love it. I mean, maybe not a lot, but they have inner monologues. There's this just decided this show decided to take it out and just leave nothing. The, remember that episode where Norman and Ray were talking? I think it was episode three or four. And after they talked, they just started walking, and both of them smiled at the same time. And they were like, ah, and that was the part, that was the, the, the moment Norman realized that Ray was going to kill himself. Well, not maybe exactly the moment, but, you know, around that time. The thing is, in the manga, uh, they was actually, they were thinking about stuff, but they just tried to take it out. And it could have been cool if they did, like, that whole of, like, back and forth, back and forth thinking, like, and this Ray, and then Norman, and then Ray, and then Norman and Ray, and then they both get to the same fucking point. Maybe they don't... Maybe they shouldn't have shown us the last sentence, maybe, of the theory or something like that. But... <sighs> I feel like that's the only critique I have on this show when I've, what I've heard from what I heard from other people who have read the manga. For me, not reading the manga, though, I thought, I thought, the, I, I thought the show was cool. And it was really good. And it's not realistic at all. It's fucking children that are smarter than me fucking dealing with a fucking um, adult. So, you know, it's not realistic. There can be children that are smart, but that's a lot of children. I don't know how you mass produce intelligent children. I'm just wondering. Either way, um, yeah, if I had to give this show a no, uh, like a like a score, I'd probably give it. Let me see. Think of everything that happened on this show. I'd probably give it an eight, maybe a seven point five. I'm not gonna go over that because you know a nine is like something that I really love, and a ten is obviously something that I really really love. The things like my tens for me are things that actually connect with me. Like Clan at season two is a ten for me, but not because of the show that's well written. Maybe it is well written. I don't know. I'm not a critic, like I said, a critic. But maybe it's like Clan and After Story just hit me so much with the feels because they talked about real life stuff that fucked me up. Uh, that I just had to give it a 10 because it, it, it's the show that I can watch over and over and over and never get tired of it. As recently, I finished Nichi Joe. Nichi Joe is the show that I would probably watch over and over and over and over and probably give it a 10 or a 9. Like, I finished it yesterday. Nichi Joe is so good. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't, I think I gave it a 10 to a clan after story. Hopefully, I did because I might change it if I don't. What else have I given a 10? I have given 10 to movies that made me, like, you know, feel stuff. The thing is, like, this show didn't make me feel stuff that much, but probably it's because I'm recording. If I if I was just watching this normally, I feel like I would feel a little bit more. I don't want to say that the camera just makes me shy or something, because it kind of doesn't. I'm I'm kind of gotten like used to being in front of the camera. I don't know what it is. I think the fact that I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm trying to like kind of like not keep a straight face or just don't stay while well, looking at a show or well, looking at a show. I think the fact that I'm trying to not do that, it's taking away a little bit of my feelings for the show, and I need to work on that. Still, uh, like shows like I mean I don't know the fucking uh, Kimi no Nawa. Kimi, what no Kimi no Nawa was uh, your name right? So yeah, that that movie made me cry when I watched it. The thing is like when I watched it, I I was alone. I was not doing a recording or anything. It was just me in my room just watching a movie. I think I think I was watching alone. I don't know. I remember. Um, but the thing, the a silent voice, which is um, I don't know the name in Japanese, but yeah, a silent voice. I couldn't cry, or I, I didn't cry, I was I was sad as fuck, I, you saw my reaction, it's in my channel if you want to look for it. Um, yeah, no, it's it's different, you know, it's it's so weird. Like, I think it's just because I'm recording. I don't want you guys to think that I'm fucking, like, you know, emotionless. Because I may be, but I don't think so. I, I've cried at stuff. <laughs> this is more of, like, an excuse for me, but... Um, <laughs> either way, a good show. Okay, so now theories for next season. So, we escaped. Mom, I don't think we'll see again. At least, the thing is like, I don't know if they're gonna try to focus on the kids that escape, or are they gonna have to focus on both? The kids that escape and fail. Or, or, what I would do probably, is just focus on the kids that escape for one season. Let, I, let maybe like, in that season, one year has passed. Maybe, if you want to make it really fast. But maybe like half a, half, half a year, maybe. Half a year passed in that one season, then the next season, uh, we still focus on them. Then the next season, when a year or two years have passed, we focus on Phil. And something happened to Phil, and he's not on our side anymore. I would love to see that, because it would be like kind of like treason, but you don't know what happened. 
and maybe that would be the 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 the, the catalyst the catalyst the, the reason for us to go back to the farm and like see what happened to to Phil and why is he evil now or not evil maybe but you know working with mom maybe maybe not maybe Phil will fuck up mom like I wonder I want him to but um if he does best boy Phil hopefully nothing happens I don't know if we'll see them again though I don't know I don't, like I don't know what the show is trying to do I don't know the manga I just know that they go out to the world and 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 fight demons probably now they, they, are we gonna have quirks and power powers now hopefully. But yeah, no. Uh, I want them. I want them to focus on the kids that escaped, maybe, so we can get a little bit of hmm, what happened to the kids that were left on the farm and stuff like that, maybe. And then what's gonna happen to the kids that escape? Probably gonna encounter demons and gonna have to like run from like, you know, uh, fucking police in a way, you know, police uh, or something like that, you know, from demons and maybe they're gonna find some other humans that already escaped. We need to fucking know what happened to William Mark. Ma 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 uh minerva i'm gonna every time i say william margrave what the fuck is margrave either way uh we need to see what happened to william minerva if he's still alive if he can help us because we we learned that the books had something and i don't think they're gonna leave that blank like in the air i think they the ray was studying that in the library while well, he was like depressed and alleged or depressed i think ray was also studying the books a little bit and maybe she he told emma but the show hasn't told us yet that he told him her we don't know. I feel like, and you know, the books are now in the library that burned down. So we don't have any books now. Unless the kids like in the real world find a library, if that's a thing in this world. How does the, are there more humans? Are the only humans in the plants? How does this work? Who's him? They talked about it in like the fucking first, second, first three episodes or something. <clears throat> the demons were talking about a certain him. Is it like the king of demons? Is it just a being? Is it just God that they believe in? Um... Oh, man, there's so many fucking questions, and no answers as of yet. Nothing has answered much. We know that there's plants. We there's an, there's other kids around the plant that we were in. That means that yeah, no, we need to go find the other kids. I don't know how many plants there were. I don't remember exactly. They drew a little picture and thing with the, like every plant and stuff. I wonder how many plants there are around that we can get more kids from. I don't know how intelligent there are because apparently Isabella's one was the most like you know profitable and quality wise and inequality wise. I guess. Uh, either way. <clears throat> uh, I think that's gonna be it. My, my, yeah, I went for a little bit too long and I need to upload this because, you know, I need to get that fucking AdSense. I don't actually get monetized in my videos, don't worry, it's just a joke, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, thank you for joining me in this fucking adventure. Remember, after this is done, I'm gonna be doing uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I, I think I, I thought I said it. I think I said before that I was doing it after Mob Psycho, but I forgot. After Mob Psycho, I'm doing One Punch Man. And after. Next week, next week, uh, probably the next Tuesday, or uh, Thursday, I'm gonna be starting JoJo. So if you're interested in that, check out my channel. Uh, I've never seen JoJo at all. I just, I, I know there's a lot of memes, but I have no idea what it's about. And hopefully I like it, because I've heard so many people that told me that I should watch it, and I don't want to disappoint them. Or disappoint myself for not liking a show that apparently a hundred fucking thousand people like. So! Thank you for watching. Remember, you can check out my Twitter to follow me, Discord to talk to me, my anime list to see what I've been watching, all in the description below, including my Patreon, where you can get early access to other shows that I may be doing, and the Crunchyroll link to keep watching the show with me, or we have other shows with me, because this is done. Uh, see you in Season 2, if that ever becomes a thing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the...